My theme today is following our example. I will start this with uh, a Bible verse that's based on this. It's chapter 4, verse 12. Let no one despise your youth, but be an example to the believers. Does anyone know this means? <laughs> what this means is, be the shepherd and lead the flock. Lead them in a godly example. I will start this, I'll start with two short stories with uh, a young girl and a young pastor. Alessia, who is six and just learning to read, often saw her parents and grandparents reading their Bibles every morning. One early morning, um, Alessia woke up before everyone else. Her grandmother woke up and found her sitting on the couch with a Bible and devotional booklet on her lap. She wanted to follow the example of spending time with God in the beginning of the day. What, this, what the meaning of this is, no matter <coughs> how old or how young you are, you always have someone or someone observing you. Timothy, a young pastor, faced heavy responsibilities in church at Ephesus, training believers, leading worship containing false doctrine. The older, experienced Apostle Paul gave him an instruction on leading the church in these areas, but he also mentioned the importance of personal conduct. He said, be an example to the believers in word, in conduct, in love, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Paul challenged Timothy, take heed to yourself and to the doctrine. If he paid attention to his own spiritual life and to solid doctrine, he would be a godly example to the church family. We all have others observing us, no matter who we are. Lord, help us live a godly life of faith, love and purity, so those who follow what we do will go into maturity. A good example has more value than good advice. No. No. No.